Hello everybody, my name is Micronix and I am bringing you another Black Ops 3 beta gameplay. This time this is showing off the Sparrow, or I believe her name is Outrider. This is the Specialist Outrider. So she has the special ability, the Bow and Arrow, or the Sparrow, which is a very OP <laughs> Bow and Arrow, and it's a very special ability that I personally, it's my favorite in the game. Uh, in this gameplay, I don't do as good as I usually do with her, but... I do enjoy this class the most as she's the most uh, versatile and she's the most enjoyable to play with and she makes pretty smart comments when she at the very end of the game so it's she's pretty pretty cool character anyways so sorry to cut off in the last video the last video was ruin gameplay but this one is outrider anyways, the gun I'm using currently is the HBK 30 with I believe red dot sight quick draw and suppressor I also apologize if you hear any vacuum sounds in the background and you I also apologize if I sneeze a couple times uh, allergies are pretty bad during the summer here in Canada so if I do sneeze I do apologize but anyways so this gun is probably my second or third favorite weapon um, my second favorite probably would be the CUDA which I think I switched to after I die um, my first favorite is obviously what I used in the first gameplay was the Razorback. My s yeah, my second favorite would be Kuda, and this one's about, I think, my third favorite, the HBK. And uh, basically, this map is a very, it's a very nice map. I like to play on this map. It's, um, I forget the name of it, but it's a very nice map to play on. It's very, uh, although it's very complicated in some ways, but I do enjoy this water area. It's very protective event against hellstorms and other uh, issues that you might have with incoming sky things except for uh stealth choppers or sorry rafts because uh, it sounds exactly like a stealth chopper from black ops 2 but anyways so basically i just wanted to continue on with what i was saying in the last video was with the games i'm pre-ordering so another game i pre-ordered was star wars battlefront from ea and i pre-ordered it for the pc so me and, me and my buddy spencer as you guys have seen in my dirty bomb videos uh me and him will be playing Star Wars Battlefront on the PC, and basically what I'll be doing on that is I might actually get it for PS4, the baiting, the, uh, seeing on how good it is, if it's extraordinary, I'll get it for PS4 as well, but I'll probably just stick with it on PC. Anyways, so that's another game I pre-ordered. A game I'm pre-ordering soon is The Division from Tom Clancy, and I believe I have some other games that I pre-ordered, I just have to remember. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, and... Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of games. Oh, and uh, I am saving up. Oops, sorry, hit the mic there. I am saving up for Ghost Recon Wildlands, which I'm extremely excited for. I loved Ghost Recon Future, Future Soldier on the PS3. Absolutely adored it. So I'm think I'm gonna try to save up for the Ghost Recon Wildlands for PS4, and hopefully that comes out within the next year or so, or else uh, I'll have to see what I can save up for. But anyways. So, I think those are all the games I pre-ordered. Not exactly sure, but I'll have to kind of recap on what I have in the next video if I, uh, in the next video, which I think the next one I'm doing is Tempest. Uh, Tempest is pretty cool. Or, codename Prophet, but I just like to call it Pro uh, Tempest because of the weapon he uses, which you'll probably see up around on YouTube, but I'll, I'll bring gameplay of that weapon soon. Anyways, so once I get some good gameplay on that. Anyways, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm actually upgrading my computer soon. So if you guys don't already know, I'm a mainly PC gamer, but I do play on PS4 occasionally as that's my, you know, I started with the PS1 back when I started playing games and I s then I started with PS2 and then PS3 and now PS4. I've always been a PlayStation kind of guy. So I, I do, my roots have started on uh, on PlayStation. So I, I do really enjoy console occasionally depending on the game which for example call of duties i just personally prefer on console it's more of a console game and because of black ops 3 getting all the dlc first on ps4 anyways but uh, anyways so i will be doing a whole bunch of different games on the ps4 in the future but i'm i'm i'm, uh, I'm actually upgrading my pc soon uh so my current specs of my computer is the intel core i7 4790k with 12 gigs of DDR3 RAM running at 1600 megahertz, and I have one terabyte 
WD blue and five or I believe four terabytes. Okay, two two terabyte drives of WD green. And I'm gonna be upgrading my computer since my Intel Core i7 is actually dying. Oh, I also have GTX 760s and SLI. Um, anyway, so my computer is actually dying. My RAM, my hard drive, and my processor is actually dying. So I'm just kind of killing it now by rendering out these final videos. But anyway, so within this next month or so, I'm going to be upgrading my computer with uh, what I can get to a Intel Core i7 6700K with a Z170 motherboard. I'm still not sure from whom. Probably Asus. And I'm going to be getting 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM along with I believe I'm going to be getting an SSD, 120 gigabyte SSD for my operating system. And in the future, I'll probably upgrade to two GTX 960s in SLI, debating on what is the next generation of NVIDIA cards uh, and how my cards are running by then as well. Anyways, so that's my computer specs, and that's what I'm hoping to upgrade in the future to. Well, that's what I'm upgrading to in the next month or so. But uh, my current specs are not the best, but they do what I need it to do, and they run everything that I need it to do. And uh, rendering is an absolute beast on this processor. I love it absolutely so much. It's great. And I highly recommend if you do video editing or any sorts of that, and you need multi-threading, stuff like that, then definitely go for, you know, you go for those, uh, the i7s. Um, I mean, I know, I realize that the 6th generation i7s don't have the best performance over top of the 4th gen, but if I'm gonna, you know, I, if I'm gonna upgrade in the future, I might as well just upgrade now since everything's dying and I'm not just waste money on the same thing that I already have. So if I just kind of stick with, if I just stick with this, then, you know, everything should be good. But uh, anyways, so what I'm hoping for is uh, that I get everything done this month and then I'll be able to record awesome gameplay for you guys and I'll be able to also get whole bunch of games that I have pre-ordered done for you guys but anyway so those are the games I have pre-ordered and that's my computer specs and I hope you guys you know at least understand a little bit of those uh, but basically in another two days which I believe until dawn comes out so I'm recording this on a Saturday and I believe until dawn comes out on Monday the 24th I believe so when I when I have that done I'm gonna record it and I'm gonna record for you guys I'm gonna post it as much as possible and then I'm going to try to upload these gameplay videos as well as much as possible for you guys before the beta ends. <laughs> because I believe it ends soon. So if I can get all the gameplay done soon for you guys, I'll definitely have it up. And worst comes to worst, I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just record as much as, as much as a specialist, specialist as I can get. And then you guys can probably just search up on the internet for other ones. But I'll show you guys as much as I can. And as you can see here, I was pretty stupid to not see the guy that's running right beside me, but whatever. I, I'm not the best at this game, and you guys can obviously tell that, but I do very, I do like the game a lot, it's just it has these varying issues. Um, I do have a lot, like, I do enjoy the game quite a bit, it's very fluid, it is very, you know, everything is very balanced when it comes to gameplay and it comes to weapons and score streaks. Uh, and they actually just added a new map in the update that leveled up the level cap to level 34. They actually just added a new map, which I'll probably, hopefully, get around to recording soon. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice map. It's Stronghold. It's basically a, a, it's a snow map, but it's to do with a, a stronghold, basically. But it's a very enjoyable map, and it's very fun to play on. It's very nice looking, too. Which I completely give credit to... Uh, Treyarch for working as hard as they did on these maps. They're very nice looking maps for being on a console, and I give them credit for that. Anyway, so I also wanted to say that I, <laughs> I just want you guys to not expect too many, um, I don't want you guys to expect too many 1080p videos running at 60 FPS, as I don't exactly record in 60 FPS 90% of the time unless it's on console. So if it's coming off the PS4, then definitely you guys should expect full out 1080p 60 FPS kind of videos, but other than that, everything else will be 720p 60 FPS. Just to, you know, not kill my PC as quickly as, uh, as I might hope. Anyways, so, as you can see, here's the Sparrow. I didn't really get to use it much in this gameplay, I know, but I just wanted to show you guys 
what it's like and what it's what it does. It's basically an arrow that when you hit somebody, it kills them instantly and then it blows them up, and it has a chance of going through multiple people and then exploding onto the third person. Or, there you go, as you can see it. And then that's what happens to you when you get hit by an arrow. So, you know, I hit him, he hit me kind of thing, and I blow up, he blow up. You know, and it can have a chance of blowing up another person that's near them, or at least getting a hit marker of some sorts. So, yeah. Other than that, I hopefully you guys all enjoyed. And uh, I hope you guys, you know, enjoy the gameplay, and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from with all the gameplay and all the pre-order stuff that I'm hoping to get and get videos up of for you guys, and also all the stuff that I'm upgrading my PC on. Uh, anyways, this is my second commentary on this channel, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, guys.